welcome to a new edition of My Own World with Renny Lynn. I'm coming to you today with a little self-help. I call it girlfriend check-in. I just wanted to check on you guys and see what you've been up to and to let you know what I've been up to. And so that way we can help each other. Um, iron shopping's iron is what I was always taught. And so I just wanted to let you know um, what I've been up to and try to give you a little encouragement, a little self-help. You know, I love to do that. Um, first, I want you to take a moment Stop, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. We do all kinds of stuff up in here, and I would love for you to be a part of the Runny Lynn family. Next, I want to apologize because I haven't created any new content, <laughs> not on this channel, um, in a few weeks. And the reason why is because me and my husband, we were doing some marriage counseling via Facebook Live for our church. And um, it was a five-week session, and it was very awesome. And so if you want to check that out, I will drop the link in the description below. But um, you can go to our church Facebook page. It's Got to Move, and that is the number two. Or you can go to our YouTube page, which is the same, Got to Move with the number two. And check out those five sessions. They were awesome. If you are married or thinking about getting married or you're in a serious relationship, maybe some of those um, sessions will help you along. I have fun working with my husband. We have so much fun together. But, you know, time to come back to myself. <laughs> and so um, Runny Lane is back. I got new products that I've ordered that are coming in that haven't come in yet. And so I will be doing some more trending products. I know I promised to um, come create content on crochet hair, but I haven't been wearing any crochet hair lately. I've been um, wearing my own tresses. And so that's why I haven't done that. But hopefully in the summer, we'll be able to get back to that. So... What I want to do today was my, like I said, my little girlfriend check-in. And so I just want to give you a few tips on how to better take care of yourself, okay? So my first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is self-care. We have to take care of ourselves. Nobody else is going to do it. And if you don't take care of yourself, um, you won't have anything to give anyone else. And so if you have a family or you have people depending on you, you have to take care of yourself. That can include so many things. Um, getting your hair done, which I did today. I went and got me some curls. Um, getting your nails done. Getting a pedicure. You know, doing anything that you love that makes you feel good. Um, helps you reset and refresh. Have a spa day with your girlfriends. Or, you know, just whatever makes you feel good. Um, different people have different things that um, they love, they enjoy. And so just try um, to do those things so that you will feel better about yourself and that you can reset and that you can have something to offer your, um, your family. Um, another thing that I would like for you to do is just think about ways to help you evolve. And what I mean by that, help you evolve, is what will make you become the next great version of yourself? What we want to do is become a better version of ourselves every day. And you have to think about personally what will make you become the best version of yourself. And I don't know if I've shared this with you before, but I got a new job. And this job that I got is my dream job. And although I have the degree and I have the experience, I don't have an HR certification. And so I feel like to take the next step in my career is just, you know, common sense. <laughs> so I'm studying for the SHRM exam so I can be a certified HR professional. I just feel like that would make me be the next greatest version of myself in my career. And so I'm studying for that. It's hard. Um... It's just hard studying by yourself because I get distracted so easily, but I'm going to do it. Um, that was one of my goals for this year. And so I'm going to work on completing that goal because I want to be proud of me. And in my glam cave, which where I shoot all my videos, I've made me a wall and I'll be um, sure to include a picture of my achievement wall 
um, at the end of this video, just so you can do it. And maybe that'll help you too, so you can see what you've achieved, what you have achieved, and what you can achieve um, in the future. It'll let you know what you need to work on. And so if that's going to help you, by all means, do that. But that's what I'm doing. So, you know, I can see where I need to go. Uh, my husband is a great person in his own right. He has awesome things going on. But I want to be the best version of Ronnie Lynn. And I need to do that separate of Adrian, which is my husband. So that's self-care. Take care of yourself, okay? Nobody else to do it. Or somebody else may do it, but they may not do it as good as you. Because you know what you like, right? All right. The next thing I want to talk about is your spiritual well-being. Okay. Spiritual well-being does not mean go to church. There's a lot of people sitting in church. And I always say they're going to knock the bottom out of hell. <laughs> So going to church, do not equate that with your spiritual um, well-being. And what I would like for you to do is get closer to God, um, whatever God that you, um, or whatever higher power that you um, worship, just try to get closer to that. Um, you know, that's what I'm doing. I've been focusing on a scripture and it's Psalms 138 and 8. And what it says is God will perfect all which that concerns me. And so I'm trusting him to um, guide me in the direction that he wants me to go. He's going to perfect that which concerns me. Me. And so that's the scripture that I've been using. I read it all the time. I meditate on it because I'm I'm um, depending on God or having faith in him that he's going to perfect everything in my life um, that concerns me so that I can glorify him. And Runny Lynn is not a spiritual channel by any means, but there's a spiritual piece to me. And that's what I do. Um, for my spiritual checkup. I always make sure that I'm lining myself up with what God wants me to do. And um, whatever God that you um, serve or whatever higher power that you worship, make sure that you do a spiritual check-in regularly so that you can make sure that you're on the right path. The next thing I want to talk to you about is your emotional well-being. And the reason why I want to talk about that is because some people are draining emotionally. And if you have draining people in your life, then you might want to change that. Or you may want to find you a new way to deal with these people that are draining you emotionally. If you let everybody drain all of what you have, what I call is draining your virtue, um, you won't have anything left for what you want to put your emotional... Um, stamp on. And so you'll have to find a way to um, separate yourself or not let people drain you emotionally. And sometimes that equates with drama. I don't let people bring extra drama into my life. I just, I don't have time for it. And you know, so who wants to do that? I want to do that. So make sure you're taking care of yourself emotionally. Okay. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is your mental well-being. And your mental well-being is tricky because, you know, everybody has their um, gauge on, you know, when you need to um, check yourself mentally. But if you feel like you need some help more than what you can give yourself or more than what you think a friend or family member can give you, then by all means, seek you out some help. Wherever you live, you know, whatever your insurance is, seek you out a therapist because there's nothing like talking to a person who won't tell your business, who won't judge you, whom will let you be the authentic you and you don't have to worry about it getting out or them judging you or um, just you not being able to be, you know, your real self with them. I have an awesome therapist. I see her all the time and I do it for my mental well-being. And it's not to say that you're crazy or you can't cope or, you know, whatever. 
stigmas that society has put on mental health, but it's just to make sure that you're being all that you can be. Because if you're not lined up mentally, you won't be able to do any self-care. You won't be able to keep um, people who are emotionally draining away from you because you won't have the strength. So to keep all of the things in line that you need to do with this girlfriend check-in, if you're not mentally um, stable, I hate to say stable, but mentally well, you won't be able to do it. And so just make sure that you do regular checkups on yourself just to make sure that you are aligned mentally, okay? Nothing wrong with that. I don't care what people say. You're not crazy. You're not, you know, whatever society wants to call it. You're you're taking care of yourself, which is what you need to do. The last thing I want to talk to you about in this girlfriend check-in is your financial well-being. Lots of people know that if you are not well financially, that affects so many other um, avenues in your life. When you don't have enough money, you can become depressed. Because <laughs> when you have bill collectors calling you, that is not fun. Um, you can't do any self-care because you don't have the money to um, go get you a pedicure or manicure or, you know, set yourself up to further yourself in education or further yourself in certifications, whatever you need to be the best version or of yourself. And so um, doing a financial well checkup is very important. What I've decided for myself this year is I'm going to stop shopping as best I can. <laughs> I do a lot of um, impulse shopping and I probably shouldn't do that, but I can't help it. But I've done a checkup and I have goals this year financially. And so I'm going to stop shopping as much. I'm going to start saving. And one thing you have to do is be honest with who you are. I know, and I learned in the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University class that me and my husband took, that I'm a free spirit. And what that means is I don't have a budget per se. I kind of go with the flow. And if I see something I want to buy, then I buy it. <laughs> and I know that about myself. And so since I do know that, I can kind of combat uh, my vices. And so that means if I go to the mall, I know I'm going to see something I want. So maybe I shouldn't go to the mall as much as I used to. <laughs> or when I'm in Walmart and... I have a snack problem. Yeah, I have a snack problem. And if I see a new snack, I got to try it. And I might just say all these Oreos they got out. I feel a need to just want to try them. And I'm not even an Oreo person, but I want to try it. And I might just eat one. I know the last one I bought was the tiramisu um, Oreos that came out. And I love tiramisu. And so I bought the Oreos and I ate maybe two and then I ended up throwing them away. But I got a problem with that because I just want to taste it. And then I know I don't like it or I do like it, or, you know, whatever. But, you know, I can't do that this year because that, you know, that that adds up. So I'm not going to do that. Um, make a goal for where you want to be by the end of the year financially. And that's either you and your spouse or you by yourself. And so, you know, me and my spouse, we have our financial um, goals. We really don't have any issues right now because we've um, taken steps to take care of our money and we're, you know, prepared for emergencies and things like that. But personally, where do I want to be financially? And I have a savings account and it's not a secret savings account. My husband knows about it, but it's just, you know, for me, for things that I want to do. If I want to further my education, if I want to help my family, which would drain my savings account in the first place. But we ain't gonna talk about that. Um, <laughs> you know, you loan money out, people never pay you back. Things like that. But I like to have it. And so one of my goals this year is I'm going to build my savings back up to where it once was. So um, I got a better job. I make a lot more money. And so there's no reason why I should not have a nice savings account. And so that's one of my goals this year. Um, one of 
another goal I have is to pay off some of this credit card debt that I have. I got a lot of credit cards. I think I got like 15. That's a lot. But, you know, I pay my bills. So it's all good. But I want to pay them off. And so um, I have a spreadsheet. And I'm doing it as Dave Ramsey um, suggested that we do. And I'm doing the snowball debt. And so I'm just going to pay off the smallest ones, which I've already started doing, and just move on to the bigger ones. By the time I get to the end, I'll be able to make larger payments on um, the bigger debt. But that's one of my goals this year. By the end of the year, I'm going to be debt free. I'm going to do it. I believe in myself. That's my girlfriend check-in. And so, you know, I try to keep these things um, short because I know we are busy and got things to do. And I really should be studying for this exam. <laughs> I take the practice exam um, every two weeks just to see where I am and where I need to study. So, um, but I will be doing more content. I'm waiting on some products, like I said. And so you'll see me more often. Um, but this girlfriend check-in was fun. I hope that you learned something or something jogged, you know, um, a thought in your mind that, hey, I need to do that. And then hopefully, you know, we have a great 2021. By the end of this year, I expect great things. But the only way I'm going to get the great things that I expect, I'm going to have to put some work in. And I'm going to do it. And I hope you do it too. So we're becoming the next greatest version of ourselves. One thing I want to do is um, I always wear like lashes and makeup and all this, this and that. And um, I love doing that. So um, I want to talk about my t-shirt. It says bougie. People call me bougie. I don't know why. I know why. <laughs> but um, this shirt was made for me by Ro Holiday. You can find her on Facebook. She's in Little Rock, Arkansas. And um, like I said, it's Ro Holiday on Facebook. But she's really good. Um, I sent her some samples of things I wanted. She got all my shirts back to me within a week for a very good price. So check her out. Um, I got some other designs and things that I wanted. And she was awesome. And... Um, meeting my um visions that i had in my head so row holiday another person that i would like to talk about is um my hairstylist her name is jeanette um her facebook page is j slay and she be slaying honey so <laughs> i like to say that she's a awesome colorist and an awesome stylist and she takes care of this afro that i have <laughs> Nobody has gotten it straighter than her. And so um, if you're in the Culpeper area, check her out. I like to give props when props are due. Um, my makeup, a lot of people ask me. Um, I put a, um, a post up the other day saying that I prefer living in color. And I do. And I've ordered so many lipsticks. Um, blue, green, purple, pink. You know, I, I love trying new stuff. And so... Um, but the one I have on now is the Boss Lady by Lip Bar. And Lip Bar has some awesome um, lipsticks that I love. They're the um, matte ones. So they dry and you don't have to worry about, you know, them rubbing off on your mask or anything. But I have found some other companies that I may review um, in the coming weeks or months or whatever. But yeah, so um, another thing I try by Lip Bar is their liquid eyeshadow. And so this gold that I got on, I got from them and it is literally um, liquid, go on, smooth, fast. I loved it. So you may want to give that a try. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, but I um, really do appreciate you guys for stopping by and spending a little, few little minutes with Runny Lynn. I appreciate each and every one that's in the Runny Lynn family. Um, invite more people to the family. I need more subscribers, and so I just need you guys to look below and hit that red subscribe button. I would appreciate it. <laughs> I would appreciate it. But um, I'm signing out now with peace and love. I hope to see you on the flip side. Have a great day and a great week. Thank you.